By the way, if you didn't know, I currently have three new country balls for you. Ireland, Italy, and France. A nice tricolor flag campaign right there. If you buy two out of the three, you'll get a little discount. And if you buy all three, you'll get an even bigger discount. Again, you guys know the rules. I can only sell these things for a limited time. So check out that link down below to makeshift.com. You paper freaking tiger. Has your army even been tested on live enemies? Honk, honk. Stop. You are under arrest. China responds with just the, yes, actually. Come on, USA. I thought you were supposed to know this by now. Also, don't forget Tibet and everything that happened there. What video game is this? We have Imperial Japan, and then USA, French Indochina, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, the Philippines, and Taiwan. Or that's supposed to be an old China. Imperial Japan has entered into the tower. Of course, immediately takes out South Korea. Next, of course, has got to be China. There goes French Indochina, like Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos. The Philippines are next. Will they take out Australia? Too? Yes, they do. Boom, pop them as well. But unfortunately, that is as far as they were gonna get. I guess the princess was actually in another castle all along for Japan. Love the bad mobile game aesthetic that this one had. All right, chaps, we're gonna have to try something new to deal with Germany's new generation of armored vehicles. We're having issues matching the tiger's armor, so get creative with your damage vegetation measures. Meanwhile, off screen, Poland's just getting obliterated. Canada shows up with the Grizzly Mark I in 1941. Son, you've clearly just stolen your brother's idea from last year and what welded some trash to it, but dad, I named it Grizzly. Well, at least that's an improvement over naming it a drunk Union General, but it still has a name as unoriginal as its design. Next, we have the Soviets with their IS-2 in 1944. Something, something Russian noises. Um, nearly too good, old friends, says Great Britain. France and New Zealand look a little scared now. Here's France showing the Panhard 178 in 1940. Do you frogs even know what a tank is? I guess France's plan is just to drive fast enough to hide from the bullets? And what if there happens to be terrain which makes the tires useless? Shoot with precision during retreat, says France. Finally, there's New Zealand with what I thought they were going to show us, the Bob Simple Tank. Bib, Bob. I don't even think the UK knows how to respond. These tanks look so hard to draw. This is incredible. So 1941, New Zealand really did manufacture their first domestic tank, and it was pretty much just a tractor. Keep in mind, New Zealand was never invaded by Japan, so maybe that tank did put a lot of fear into them. And can you really blame them? This thing looks terrifying. I've been so glad we is now unified. Me too, responds East Germany. Unfortunately, I can't have the generals in Butenschwerz. I understand, says East Germany again. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, suck to be zoo, says the no-no German standing next to a nurse Argentina. Ooh, how adorable. Wait, what was this trying to say? After reunification, relatively few NVA personnel remained in the Air Force. Wait, no, sorry, that's the Armed Forces. This isn't the Luftwaffe. Wait, does Germany still call their Air Force the Luftwaffe? Ah, uh, so military members in East Germany weren't really treated the same as West Germans. Oh, that's why no-no Germany is laughing at in East Germany, because they fled to Argentina. Okay, I didn't know any of this, to be honest. You traitorous scum! D dad what are you doing here? You're getting defunded and butt-beaten right now! W wait no! Ah! This is right outside the FBI headquarters. Wait, is that a Mamlukian flag? Wow, they're in agreement? I hope Morocco's okay. Gringo's actually unidos, says Mexico. I also like the reference to the dead seal on top of Canada's head. Yeah, so Washington, D.C. wasn't going to be treated too nicely. Well, the reference to Morocco is because Morocco is the whole, like, hell thing. They're supposed to be... Yeah. The Estados has finally unidos. Germany singing a little song to themselves. Salutations, Kraut. UK walks away and Germany's confused. Kraut? Grabs a mirror and looks into it. Oh my god. I guess the name finally makes sense now. Why didn't I see it before? You could say Kraut or Sauerkraut? I guess this word started after World War One. But this comic is referring to the fact that in German, Kraut actually means cabbage. So that was what was in the mirror. I can see why the Germans were confused about this before. Paul, me and the boys want to throw around the pig skin but we ain't got no football you got one yeah i got a football it's in the junk closet got ya says texas look y'alls i got the football uh texas ain't it supposed to be round excuse me but which one of us knows how to read good <laughs> the line didn't include good but i, I just felt it I, it needed to be said paul says i was illiterate says not kansas gotta love illiterate arkansas dag nabbit it's one of them digital footballs need a password any ideas fellas we need an eight letter word now i can't spell but i know some of these letters <laughs> but i know all the letters <laughs> okay whatever and it seems to me we ain't got but one 
O. Them others are what you call numbers. And words ain't got no numbers in them. <laughs> I don't think I can do this with a straight face. <laughs> God damn it, you're right. <laughs> it's okay. I was born in Alabama, lived in Texas, family's in Texas. I think I could do this. All right, boys, go long. I throw like a damned rocket. Hut, hut, beep, 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 beep. Oh, boy. <laughs> this was such a brilliantly written comic. I am, like, in shock. I don't know why that was so funny to me. I love the whole gang here, too. Alabama, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. Of course, Texas as the leader of this, like, Southern Avengers. Can we get more of this storyline? Just, like, the Southern states getting themselves into more and more trouble like this. And there's actually meaning behind this, too. For 15 years the code to launch for the US nuclear arsenal was actually zero 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 the ability to launch is actually called nuclear football something tells me this is kind of a problem just eight zeros I don't know what's worse that password or just one two three I really loved this one look at this crap a says Canada US just won't shut up about burgers can't you fix them what oil now need seventh burger US shut up or we aren't going to whack Donald's hmm says the papal state thinking to themselves I know now. I must banish the evil within through exercise. I thought you said exorcism, eh? Uh, this works too. Bye bye Whatever gets the job done. I'm pretty sure that's gonna keep them going. Maybe just put like a barrel of oil in front of America and they'll be good. What's the difference? 1956. Ha! Old CCCP, no more. Time for new and improved CCCP. Change is coming. Hurrah! This means Poland can do socialism myself, right? You know, without constant surveillance? Oh, I guess not. Now listen, I'm second biggest in Eastern Bloc, you pumped enormous amounts of monies into our economic ties. Our industries are so connected that it would ruin the both of us. If we conflict, you'll probably be able to oof me, but yourself will never recover. You will kiss dream of being able to compete with USA goodbye. So I am demand that you put this gun off my face before you do something terrible and irreversible. But you still communist, right? Says the USSR. Oh, of course, but I'm Polish communist. Communism made by Poles. So please take back your un-Polish advisors. Hurrah! Does this mean Hungary can make own political decisions too, right? Yes for independence. Yes for freedom. Down with communism. Gets whacked into oblivion by the USSR. Poland knew how to play their cards right. Hungary did not exactly have the same leverage, I guess you could say. So this is referring to the Hungarian Revolution of 1956. And as we saw, this didn't go too well for these people. So Poland Poland had something similar happen in that very same year, but it was much less dramatic. Trained of 100 times, oofed many enemy clays. I think this is Poland? Now is time of greatest fight. Oh, it's the Soviet Union. Who are they going to fight? Oh. Oh, this epic climax wasn't so epic. It was actually pretty anticlimactic, if anything. The Soviet Union had done many montages of training, and yet it was all for nothing because the big bad guy pretty much just oofed himself. Man, I thought this movie was going to have an epic conclusion, too. India stands with friend and ally America. India stands with friend and ally Japan. India stands with friends and ally West Punjab and North Punjab. Hey, wait a second. India stands with friends and allies Israel and the Palestine. India stands with friend and ally Qatar. Back to work. Oh, and they also stand with the rest of the Gulf clays. India stands with friends and allies Russia and Ukraine. Buy Russian gas, please. India stands with friends and allies with every other clay that I don't have time greeting individually. <laughs> But that is one clay India just cannot stand with. Literally does not matter who it is. They could be at war with each other. They could be enslaving India. They can be old rivals. They'll stand with them all, but just not Pakistan. Interesting that they included Bangladesh here. I guess they're cool with Bangladesh. India is like the Switzerland of Asia, I guess. However, with just one exception, apparently. So America, can you take care of my children, says Spain? That will be done, Mexico. Oh, look at the cute little Panama and El Salvador. So kids, what's your opinion on freedom. Well, actually, me prefer of ideological left-leaning literally disappears into the void. And what about you, Egypt? Are you commie too? I love that Panama can only say canal, canal. Some sort of strange Pokemon, but now they're pretty fearful. Canal? Getting Panama and Egypt confused is actually pretty clever by the USA. Two countries with both pretty famous canals. Oh wait, that was supposed to be Nicaragua. Whoops. In my defense, the drawing looked really similar. I mean, come on. Maybe I should have known though. I will say that. Freedom distributor is definitely one way to put it, America. One beautiful Sunday.
Monday, the very hungry America hatched from its egg and started looking for foods right away, as it was very, very hungry America indeed. Pulling reading this little children's book. On Monday, it ate through Louisiana. Nom 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 nom. Ah, bueno for you, froggy. On Tuesday, it ate through Florida. <laughs> God, I wish that were me, says Texas. On Wednesday, it ate through Texas. Why did I have to wait so long? Mm. <laughs> On Thursday, it ate through California. <laughs> It's for the better. On Friday, it ate through Alaska. Sad Russian noises. On Saturday, it ate through the Philippines. Oh, their stomach is really starting to growl now. And on Sunday, again. Oh, that's the last time I eat Asian food. Pretty clever, because this was like the last thing the U.S. took before they kind of just stopped eating things. Well, there's also Hawaii, which wasn't included, but yeah. Wait, please tell me this was a reference to uh, the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. The Very Hungry America. Yeah, we also need Puerto Rico, but I like that he was heading very clearly east to west even if it was on the other side of the globe with the Philippines. Love the old reference to colonial America. We have like an old Spain and France. The 18th amendment getting passed. No alcohol. Hey see this? We're taking the next great step unlike you losers over the pond always busy oofing yourself. Drunken warmongers. Hmm. Barman, the usual, if you please. Afraid I can't, govna. Finally, I get to say govna. See that? Honey, take another drink. We can't back home, remember? Oh, well, there's that nice speakeasy the mafia runs. But I will, dear. <laughs> Flat out of beer, we are. Oops. I actually never considered this. Were there a lot of Americans going to Britain for their alcohol? Many European novels depicted how Americans would drink in Europe, mentioning how they couldn't do it at home. I didn't even consider this aspect of prohibition. That's a whole mess to think about. Other countries are probably so mad at us. Japan stabs a USA ball, pulls out a pretty dead Hawaii. But the USA with the reverse car, they're going Kirby mode on them. <laughs> USA's eyes are still sizzling after all that. Wait, but Japan is okay somehow. Or wait, maybe not. I think they just became the- Well, they really did go Kirby mode. Except they stole our powers. Started as the Imperial Japanese flag, then stole the Yeehaw in us. Never thought I'd see Kirby represented in country balls, but it's kind of actually perfect. You pearled your last harbor. <laughs> perfect title. All right, mateys, says Somalia to all these other balls. My Caribbean brothers, I is gonna restore your pirate spirits. We's wills rise together in former glory and plunder to us hard content. We is rule the seven seas. Uh, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the children alone, says the USA. Sir, if you don't leave soon, I'm gonna have to place you under arrest. Oh, it was all part of their imagination the entire time. Maybe Jamaica had something to do with it, the fumes or something. Don't talk to such strange men, son. But dad, didn't you start this whole pirate thing? Very clever. It would be Somalia that tries to bring this whole thing back. But yeah, a little, little creepy. Maybe, maybe just stay away from the kids. There are pirates, all right, just of the Horn of Africa. Like I said at the very beginning, don't mess out on these country balls. They're only here for a limited time. I really think these are some of my favorites that I've ever created. And big thanks to Twick and Hamster, the Polish, Lithuanian, Drew's Argentinian grandpa, Austin Powers, Faja, twenty dollars is a lot. Drew, a fat Norwal, Bornski W, Isaac, I guess, bring back Poland Cowboys eighty three, Price, Go I stole Drew. Pugs Dog, Mundy, Lundy, Philip R.S., Robert E., Rye the, the Mexican 7-6, and why am I doing this?